Okay, today we're going to learn about the legal definition of the word mandate. We are in the Black's Law Dictionary, 11th edition. So today, California just mandated vaccinations for all school children ages 12 and older. Under Roman and civil law, this is what we're working under right now, a written command given by a principal to an agent, so by like a governor, specifically a commission or a contract by which one person, like the governor, requests someone, the mandatory, which is the public, to perform some service gratuitously, which means voluntarily, the commission becoming effective when the mandatory agrees. This means that a mandate only becomes mandatory when you follow through with what they want you to do. If you do not agree to it, if you do not do what they're asking you to do, if you do not want to do what they're asking you to do, because it's a request, it's gratuitously doing what they say, then you are not uh, obligated under the mandate. That's the law they don't want you to know. That's the law they don't want you to know. Go back, look at it again, pause it and read it, research it all you want to. That's the law. It is not becoming mandatory on you until you, the mandatory, actually follows through with what they're trying to mandate. That's why it's not a law. That's why it's called a mandate. And it's only a mandate until you agree to it. If it goes against the Constitution, it cannot become a law. But if you guys roll over and do whatever they want, you're actually agreeing to it. You're just agreeing to it, which means they can go ahead and turn around and make it a law because everybody was agreeing to it in the first place. You guys. Say no.